Hey superstars, I'm Sue and welcome to my channel Reviews with Sue. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and supporting our channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Sue and hope you're considering that subscribe button. So would you like to know what today's unboxing is all about? Well, I have some products to share with you from New Craft Day. And if you want to know what's inside these packages, then just keep on watching. Doing reviews just like I do. Hanging out with your friend Sue. It's Sue. And I'm back. I have some products to share with you from New Craft Day. They did reach out to me again and ask if I'd like to collaborate with them by sharing a few more of their amazing items with you all. And I said, absolutely. If you've never heard of New Craft Day before, it is your one-stop shop for all your crafting needs. They have cross-stitch, paint by number, diamond painting, even scrapbooking supplies, and a huge array of different accessories. Because I am collaborating with them in this video, they did give me a discount code I could pass on to you all. It is SUE10, and that's going to give you 10% off your order. I am going to leave all their information down below in the description box, just in case you want to check it out for yourself. And if I have any giveaways going on, I'm also going to link that down below. So let me go ahead and show you the items that I did pick out this time around. The first item is going to be this item right here. Now, this item was $4.38, and everything normally comes in these little plastic bags here. So if it does come with multiple pieces inside it, you can keep everything together until you're actually ready to complete the project. So this little item here is going to be a diamond painting kit. But look, it's a little snowman it is. Now this is gonna be like a little burlap bag. Now there's a little snowman on here. If you flip it around to the other side, it's gonna be completely blank. Now this would be great for putting like little gifts inside here or little goodies or just some of your little miscellaneous items. It does have a little clinch here at the top. So once you actually have the project completed, you can go ahead and put your little goodies in there and then you can clinch it. Now this is a snowman. I love snowmen because they just bring me so much joy, but they do have a huge array of different items that you could actually have like put on the outside of this little bag right here. Now this is going to be a diamond painting kit. You can see if you look at it really close, there's going to be some letters in there. There's also going to be some little numbers in there and then it comes with everything that you need. So first of all, you have your little drill tray right here. That's where you're going to put your little drills in, which are kind of like your little gems. You have your wax right here, as well as your drill pen right here. When you're doing diamond painting, what you're going to do is you're going to take your little drills, you're going to pour them into your pan. You're going to give it a little shake, shake, and then basically all the beads are going to go in the upright position. So then when you go to pick it up with your little drill pen over here, you're able to pick it up. You're going to take it and you are going to place it strategically wherever it needs to go within the pattern itself. Now it does also come with all the drills that you're going to need and they are going to be numbered or they're going to be lettered. Sometimes they even use symbols. So these are going to be all your drills right here. So there's some right here. There's some more here on the other side. I'm going to keep it inside the little plastic here because I don't want them going all over the place. And that's everything that you're going to need to complete this adorable little snowman little pouch right here. So that was our first little project there that I did pick out. And then for our next project, this is actually not gonna be a project. This is going to be part of a project that I'm going to use with some of the items that I already own. Now, these right here are going to be wax seal sticks. Now, the prices on these kind of vary. So let's see here, we have a gold one and we also have a silver one. Now, these two right here were $2.81 each. So you have a silver one, which is really pretty right here. Then you also have this really pretty gold one right here. Then I also picked out two other colors. So I have like a mintish green color and then like a bright pink color because y'all know how much I love my pinks. This is like a fuchsia pink right here. Now these ones here were $2.88 and the other one was $2.82. I don't know what the price difference is. Maybe it depends on what color you're getting. But these are when you're making wax seals. Sometimes you can purchase them as like little beads, but then you can also get the sticks. I and mean, this is what I used to use when I was a youngster. I just started getting into this wax seal making things again. Now, now, I already do have some of the seals, but the way that this one works is you don't have to put it into a tray or a dish. You don't need a warmer, anything like that. You are just going to light this like a regular little candle. You're going to light the little wick here at the end. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to take the wax and you're just going to let it drip to wherever you want it to go. This way you actually won't be wasting any of your wax because it's going to be dropping right onto the project or your little envelope. So that way you can seal it. Once you have a little puddle of wax down there, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a wax seal, which is like a little metal seal, and then it usually has like a little wooden stick on the end of it, and you just push it down into it. You hold it for a couple seconds, you lift it up, and then like in the old days, that's how you actually used to seal your envelopes. So I just thought that was really cool, so I wanted to get a little bit of a different colors, and I wanted to try this style again, because I haven't done that in a long time. 
Then for our next item I have, it was $2.97. Now this is going to be a marker, but they say that this type of a marker you can actually use within your wax seals. So once you actually make the seal and you have it like on your envelope, you can actually take it and you can actually color in some of the pieces. And I always love the silver color, so I thought that would be like really pretty. So let me see if I can pull it here out of the little plastic baggie that it's in. And I cannot see where it actually opens. So I guess we're just gonna kinda like cut into this one right here, I think. Oh, nope, actually I just found the little end piece of it. Not that I'm gonna keep this little plastic bag or not, but I thought I'd just try to keep it all contained for right now. But this is going to be the marker right here. I'm just kinda curious if like I were to use it like on a piece of paper, if it would actually write decently on there. So let me just go ahead and put high. Oh, it ooh, it's very pretty. It's like a very pretty silver metallic color right there, you can see. But you can also use this when you're actually using it with your wax seals. And I'm sure you could probably use it for some other things too, but that's just what's coming to mind right now. Then for our next little item I picked out is a Let's Color ink pad. So this little ink pad right here was $2.98. It has a variety of different colors, purples on here. Now they did come in pinks, they came in greens, they came in blues, they came in yellows, and then there's like multiple different shades of that color within it itself. And I do have lots of stamps, so I thought this would be really cool because then I could maybe do like, like stamp it like halfway through two different purples and then put little stamps on some of my cards that I send out and stuff. But yeah, I thought that was really neat and I do like me some ink pads, so there is that. Then the next item I have here is going to be actually a little project. And this one was $3.77. These are gonna be diamond painting kits, but they're gonna be little stickers. So these are gonna be all the little stickers that you're gonna be able to make. So it looks like we have a little Felix the Cat over here. We have a little Mighty Mouse over here. It looks like we have like a little Minnie Mouse. We have over here a Hello Kitty. We have a Daisy Duck over there. We have a Tigger, it looks like, over here. So you can see there is going to be a whole lot of them in here for $3.77. And this is like a great project where you can actually like cut these out and then you can give them to different kids in your family or if you're having like a little birthday party that you can give them each a project to do. And let me go ahead and get inside this kit and show you everything that it does come with. It's pretty much like the same thing as the other kit came with, but I still wanna show it to you because I have it here in my hot little hands I do. These are really nice too because you can decorate like your notebooks with this. You could probably stick them in your locker if you're a kid and you still go to school. We have here diamond painting drilling steps. So these are all the steps right here. Then we also have our little tray here. And I like to save these trays because even once the project's done, if I start like another project, I might wanna like line up all my trays so then I can put all my drills inside the trays. And then that way I don't have to keep like opening a bag up, pouring it in, then pouring it back into the little baggie. It makes it so much easier. It does come with your little drill right here as well as your little piece of wax right here. And then you also are going to have all your different little drills right here. So you got all those colors, you got those colors, and it's probably folded in half a couple of times too, so there's probably even more colors on the inside. But I just thought that was really cute. And then these are going to be all your little stickers right here that you're gonna actually be making. So multiple projects inside just this one little kit right there. So there was that one. So let me keep that all together because I don't want to mix my beads up or it's going to be like all over the place or my drills. They're actually called drills. Sue, I got to drill that into my mind that they're called drills, not beads and not gems. Then our last item I have to share with you is going to be a DIY diamond painting kit right here. Now this one actually did come in a box. It does give you step-by-step -step instructions here on the back of it. But once you get the hang of this diamond painting, let me tell you, it's super easy. It's very therapeutic. I love doing it while I'm watching television or if I have like a craft day with any of my friends. I like to do it with them too. So let me pull everything here out of this little box. Now this particular item was $11.49 and it does come again with everything that you're going to need because diamond painting is one of my favorite hobbies to do. And this is actually going to be a Christmas tree it is. And look at how beautiful this is. So you can see here, it's gonna be in all different colors of blues, and then you've got some whites in there, maybe even some silvers. It's just gorgeous. And I thought for my sunroom, I thought this would match perfectly. Now, will I have it done in time for next Christmas? Hopefully I will, because this Christmas has already come and gone. But a tree, you might be able to like still put this out for some decor. 
So again, it does come with everything that you need. And what I thought is really neat is this one actually comes with the stand. So what you're gonna do is you see this like flat piece right here at the bottom. You're gonna take it and you are just going to put it inside here and then it can actually sit in the upright position. So you can actually basically put it anywhere. Now this little piece right here, it does have a plastic film on there. So you do have to pull this little film off and then the acrylic that's underneath it will be nice and shiny still. Then we also have here our little wax. We have our drill pan here as well as our drill pen over here. And then again, it comes with all the little drills that you're going to need to complete the project. So it looks like these are gonna be numbered one and two, and then you have an A and you have a C and you have a B. It looks like the B actually got added on there. Now those ones are gonna be some really big um, drills right there. So these you can probably just put by hand onto your project. So I just thought that was really cool. Now, isn't this blue gonna look really, really pretty? They did offer it in pink as well, but I thought if I put it here in my sunroom area, I want it to match appropriately, even though pink was really, really pretty too. And it came in the traditional green colors as well. I do wanna thank New Craft Day again so much for sending me over all these items. Let me do a quick little recap with y'all so that way you can see everything that I picked out this time around. We have the tree right here, which is going to go on the stand once it is completed. It did come with everything that you need to complete it. We also have these little stickers right here that you can put on your notebooks. You can put it in your locker. Let me know of any other places that you might want to stick a little sticker. Oh, I know. You know, these little um, bags over here, I received some of these bags from Bella Box. They're just like plain bags. But what I was doing is I was actually doing some of these little stickers right here and I was putting them on the bags that I received from my Vela box, which is a candle subscription. So there's that. Then we also have, where did it go? We have my little marker right here that I can use on my wax seals or I can just use them to like sign cards with. I also have four different wax seals right here. These are the melting wax that you're gonna use with the seals that you might already have, which I already do have. And then we have the cute little snowman right over here. And remember, you can pick different designs on this as well. So thank you so much, New Craft Day, for reaching out to me and letting me collaborate with you once again. I really do appreciate it. I can't wait to start working on some of these projects. Remember, I do have that discount code, SUE10, that will give you 10% off your order. If I have any giveaways going on, I'm also gonna link that down below in the description box. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please consider hitting that subscribe. A like on your way out would be great. And if you have an extra time, Hop on over to Instagram. Follow me over there. It's Reviews to Suit, just like my channel name. Other than that, that's all I have for you guys today. So please be safe, be well, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.